you've decided that you want to add a vinyl cutter to your heat printing business. And there are two common types of vinyl cutters that we're going to review today to share key similarities and differences so that you can make the best decision for your business. The two cutters we're going to be reviewing today are the Cricut Explore Air 2 and Graftech C7000. We're going to review what is going to be the best one for your business, but before we do that, let's talk about some of the similarities in both of these cutters. First things first is they're both going to work really great for cutting out any type of design or personalization with a variety of different heat transfer vinyls. All right, so with the Cricut Explore Air 2, the 12 inch cutter, you are going to actually be using sheets to be able to cut out your heat transfer vinyl. Whereas with the Graftec C7000, you can actually load in a full roll of heat transfer vinyl up to 24 inches. All right, so both of these machines are going to work with a blade so that you can cut out your designs and then be able to transfer them onto apparel. Let's go ahead and dive into more specifics of each cutter, starting with the Cricut Explore Air 2. To start, I'm going to review all of the characteristics of the Cricut Explore Air 2 to start so that you can see the differences whenever we move to the CE7000. So as you can see, we are loading in our cutting mat, and when we do that, we are pressing it against the pinch rollers that are on both sides. Now, these are not adjustable, so whenever I uh, press the cutting mat up against these pinch rollers, I'm then going to click my arrow key so that that will feed my cutting mat in. Then you'll notice that our print head, which holds our blade, is going to recognize that that cutting mat has been inserted so that it knows it is waiting for a design to be cut. Now, this cutter does come with the Cricut Design Space software. So all I have to do is either connect via USB or Bluetooth to be able to send my design to cut. Now before I do that, I need to make sure that my cutter knows what type of material I am about to cut. And one of the beautiful things about this machine that makes your life very easy is that it has presets. And those presets are going to allow you to adjust your blade depth, all right? And blade depth is very important to be able to cut all the way through the vinyl or material that you have loaded onto your cutting mat. So you can see on the right hand side of our Cricut vinyl cutter, we have a dial here and it lists anything from paper to cardstock to vinyl. Uh, and that just allows you to have ready to go presets right on your cutter so that you can quickly select what type of fabric or material or heat transfer vinyl that you do have loaded onto your cutting mat. All right, so I loaded on CAD Cut Ultra Weed, which is an iron on product. So I'm just going to turn that dial back until it is on the iron on setting. And then when my design is ready to go, I can send it to cut. Now, before I do that, I do wanna point out that even though these presets are here, you can adjust these presets within Cricut Design Space. So if you ever notice your blade maybe getting dull from often cutting, um, then you can adjust your blade force so that will cut a little deeper than what is already preset on this menu. Right? So this really helps with kind of giving you a good starting point and where your blade should be if it's new, but if you need to adjust, you can within Cricut Design Space. Now let's go ahead and show you just how quickly our Cricut Explorer Air 2 can cut out a design and send our design to cut. Once the design is ready to go and you are connected to your computer, the Cricut button is going to light up and flash. And you're just gonna hit that button and it's going to prepare your design to cut. Now I do have the fast mode setting on, so the speed that you are seeing the design be cut is the fastest that it can go. And you'll also notice that we are working with a 12 by 12 inch cutting mat. 
right? So you cannot go beyond 12 inches in width whenever you are cutting out your designs, but you can get a larger cutting mat and do larger designs um, with a 12 by 24 inch cutting mat if need be. Now that the design is all cut out, I'm going to hit my arrow button and that is going to push out my cutting mat so I can now move on to the weeding process. Now let's discuss the Graftec CE7000 and some of those key features that you get with your next level vinyl cutters. First things first is we already have our roll loaded into the vinyl cutter and one of the biggest differences you'll notice off the bat from the Cricut Explore Air 2 is that we already have the ability to cut more material. Right, so we are limited to that 12 by 24 inch sheet with the Cricut if you are using that cutting mat, whereas we can get anywhere from as low as a yard cut or a sheet to as long as a 25 yard roll, depending on how much yardage you need. All right, so uh, as soon as we have that material loaded in, we are immediately prompted on the screen to select what we have loaded in, which can be anywhere from a roll to a sheet. Since we have a roll loaded in and I want the blade to go to the front edge, I'm gonna select a number one on my keys there. And you can see that the print head which holds the blade is going to read the width of the material so it can see just how wide of a roll we do have loaded in. Right from there, similarly to the Cricut, this machine does offer presets as well. And that is what you're seeing here on the top of the screen. It has one condition, number one, and it lets us know a little bit about what that preset is set up as far as speed and blade depth go. Right, so if I ever need to change that, all I have to do is hit this button and it will bring up a menu of all of the information that is set up for this condition. And if I wanna change which setting I am on, I will hit number one for that condition and I can then browse through my menu. Now this does have a software that allows you to come in and name these presets if you need. And it also does come with its own cutting software just like the Cricut does with Cricut Design Space. So this does have a Graphtech Pro Studio where you can also design and get your graphics ready to send to the cutter. Now I'm gonna head back to uh, my original menu there. So I'm just gonna hop out of there by hitting condition and going back to that menu. It's telling me that my force is at eight and my speed is at 10. If I do want to increase this speed, I can go as high as 35 inches per second, which is a very fast speed. All right, so now before I send my design to cut, I always want to do a test. Since I do have a newer blade loaded into my blade holder here, I want to go ahead and do a quick test of where my blade and how deep that blade is going. All right, so I am going to look for force, right? So we mentioned that our blade force is at eight and I wanna test that. So I'm gonna drop down here to cut test and hit my arrow key and I wanna test my force. So I'm gonna hit number one. All right, and that test cut is going to do three tests that have a triangle and a square so that I can go ahead and weed away the excess material to reveal that triangle. And that is really just showing me my force and making sure that I'm getting nice clean cut lines and I'm not cutting through my carrier in any way. Right, so what, as long as those test cuts are nice and clean, we can then go ahead and send our design to cut. Before we send our design, I wanna make sure my blade knows where to start. So I'm going to push the material out so that the uh, test cuts are not there. And then I'm gonna set my origin. So I'm just gonna hold in that origin button that tells the blade where its start point is at and then I can send my design to cut through the software. All 
Let's go ahead and start the weeding process. We are going to start with the sheet of heat transfer vinyl. We have from what we cut out on the Cricut Explore Air 2. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and trim out my design so that I am not wasting any of that excess material. All right, so now I can save these pieces for scraps. <clears throat> All right, so we can go ahead and weed out our design. As you can see, it did a great job cutting on that iron-on setting. Right now let's show you the difference with the Graftec C7000. Um, right away, I do not have to trim out my design. There is a weed border around my design, which makes it very easy for a start point so that I am not wasting any material and can be used for scraps later. All right, and now I can go ahead and trim out my design. And you can see that both cutters did a very great job in cutting out both of these designs. So we made sure to use the same design and same size uh, so that you guys can see the differences in speed and the capability that the cutters have in cutting out a basic heat transfer vinyl product. The Cricut Explore Air 2 and the Graftec C7000 are both really great cutters, but what it boils down to is what's gonna make sense for your business and your budget. The Cricut Explore Air models range for around $300 and the Graftec C7000 ranges around two grand. And it really comes down to how much you need to output with heat transfer vinyl. And that is why a lot of people get started with the Cricut because they wanna just do their own HTV designs here and there. And then they upgrade to the Graftec C7000 once they start to fulfill a lot more orders with heat transfer vinyl. For more information on these two cutters, visit the links in the description.